From the simplistic example of a coffee mug, now let us understand digital twins as it is used in real manufacturing. Let's look at this video which actually shows digital twin of an electric motor in action. Digital twins, the innovation backbone of the future, delivering virtual representations of real world products, systems and cities. For example, the digital twin of an electric motor not only showcases form, but also analyzes functions from the rotation of the shaft to thermal conductivity to data from sensors and beyond. What's more, the digital twin continuously evolves thanks to the flow of data, user experience feedback and new input, and it's greatly impacting development, production and operation. In development, a product's behavior can be simulated and tested long before a physical prototype has been built. Siemens utilized the digital twin to develop a world record-setting electric aircraft motor that not only weighs 50 kilograms, but is also five times more powerful than comparable electric motors. Now, what we saw in that video, basically, you could understand, you could appreciate the granularity up to which you can connect data about the specific parts of that electric motor. And you can, they are connected through sensors and you can get real-time information as the motor is being used by a customer. You can get real-time information about the performance of the motor and all the other dimensions of the motor, right? In terms of, you can actually even predict so many things because you have a real version of the motor in place in the digital version, right? Because all the information is there, you have virtually, you can monitor what, how the customer is using, how often they are using, just like the example we talked about in Coffee Mug. So why digital twins in manufacturing, right? You got the understanding of how it works in that you know, electric motor, but you can now imagine if you have the capability, certainly it has got enormous benefits for the manufacturer because it can provide value in multiple dimensions. You know, just to name a few, you know, it can improve safety because uh, with the digital twin, you can first, you know, simulate, even before putting the physical product, you can simulate a lot of scenarios to make sure that the product actually works as it is designed for, and that's point number one. That even if the product is actually being used, the physical product is being, you know, manufactured and delivered to customers being used, you can constantly get real-time information. And a lot of times, you can actually predict the process uncertainties, you can predict any deviation in process in the, in the product performance. So you can kind of have an early warning that basically, uh, you know, both helps, you know, manage uncertainties and also help improve safety. Of course, the real-time information, as you saw in the case of electric motors or in the case of, you know, a simple example of a coffee mug, the full transparency in operations actually gives a lot more control to the manufacturer to kind of monitor and operate. And if you recall the introduction of this uh, series, I talked about um, the, 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 the pressure for manufacturers as they see from the market is that consumers are now more informed. The customers are more informed. They're demanding this personalization of experience, right? If you, if you, if you recall in our discussion with experts in the manufacturing industry, they're talking about how the demand for personalization from customers is actually moving into manufacturing as, uh, as a capability of lot size of one. Now, you can see that capability of lot size of one, to some extent, is now possible you know, with, the, with the concept of digital twin because you're now able to have real-time information about the experience of each customer. You have real-time information about the manufactured product that goes to each customer, and then you can monitor and manage those, and hence, kind of uh, you know, enhancing the capability of manufacturer to manage this lot size of one. Application of digital twins in manufacturing could be at a process level or at a product level. Now, on the left-hand side of this chart, you see what I call as a product digital twin. You have a physical product, which is an automobile there, and you know, parallel to that, you see a digital version of the same automobile. That's a product digital twin. In a product digital twin, you actually collect a lot of uh, product performance data. You can, uh, you can get information about design parameters, how they are changing when the product is being used. Uh, you, the, you get rich usage data, and uh, you also can, uh, you know, detect some faults that may be likely to be occurred, and that hence uh, uh, helping the manage the the managers to kind of uh, design proactive maintenance and preemptive maintenance of the products, and those are some of the usages. Some some simple examples of the data that could come from uh, product digital twins, and of course, a lot more as you'll see in examples, you know, further down the course. On the right hand side, what you see is the process digital twin. In other words, the concept of digital twin could also be applied to the processes. And for example, it could be 
end-to-end -end process, you know, processes in the manufacturing shop floor. So you have several machines in each stage and all of them could be tracked digitally and you could actually create a digital version of the entire manufacturing process. In fact, many, uh, you know, uh, recently a lot of modern uh, manufacturing, you know, even, even before they put the plant in place, even before they start constructing the plant, they create the full digital version of the plant with all the machines planned in terms of where the layout would be, how they would work. And they, in fact, they can actually simulate the entire factory operation through simulation to see exactly how it will work. And in fact, they may actually do some course correction in terms of you know changing the layout, changing the machines and things like that. So that you know they have a lot of analysis done even before they put any asset on the ground. And of course, once they have the asset on the ground, you can collect through the digital twin. If you make it active and live, you can have live performance data of each of the machines. You can have full transparency of the operations. And of course, uh, you could actually detect if some machine is going to have any problems or already having some problems, and you can have proactively take some actions. These are some of the benefits, and these are some of the data that you can collect to create a replica of the entire manufacturing process. The same concept is also used nowadays in construction process. The entire construction process, you could create a digital twin of the process, you know, simulating different assets that have come in place, and that actually gives a lot of opportunities, just like we talked about in manufacturing, about what-if analysis, and so that for the managers to derive insights.